I think you would have found. It's really important. I what think that you means. would have found that. Hold on a second. We're speaking here. Don't interrupt the lady. I'm sorry I think to you would have found but you that just it was completely discredited my point. You're mansplaining here, sir. It's time for installment two of Build the Wall, Change My Mind. At, at least it was until while we were filming, uh, a safe zone materialized with protesters. Hey, no fear. Immigrants are welcome here. Would any of you like to no have fear. a discussion about Immigrants this? Are welcome here. And they lobbed some accusations, which were about what you'd expect. I don't engage with racists. I don't want to. Don't engage with racists. At the very least, xenophobic. At the very least, xenophobic. I will say that. Good evening, everybody. We're going to be right back. I just would like to go and have a word with the protesters and see what issue it is that they have with them. Hi, how are you? Hi. Give it to me. I, I understand there's a protest going on here from what, what we're doing today. We're just representing our views. We're not protesting. Okay, that's totally fine. And I, I know that none of you wanted to come over and sit down and talk with us about it. Yeah. But why, why is that? Uh, we okay. have, we're, that for one, there's a fear of our safety. We don't want to be put online with people that have similar beliefs to you and potentially would dox us and come at us and harass us. We felt that our point of view was, of standing here was enough to be said, but now you've all come here and essentially well, forced all us into this interview. Okay. I, I didn't mean to force you into an interview. I mean, you are in a public space and we have a permit to be here and we sit up and it's been very civil. There hasn't been anyone threatening to dox anybody and I would obviously discourage anyone from doxing anyone at any point, but I would actually love the whole reason we're here is so we can have discussions with people like yourselves, people who disagree with us. Also, uh, I'm, no, I'm no public speaker. It's sure. not my job. And so um, I don't want to misrepresent my points. It's That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. You don't, you, you don't have to. But I, I do find it just curious that you guys set up uh, in response to what we're doing, but no one wants to have a dialogue. Isn't the whole point right now to be having more I mean, of a dialogue? We're having dialogues with the students who come by. But Okay. Yeah. You're, but yeah. not with the people whom you're protesting. No, the students who, a lot of students from over there have okay. come over here with counterpoints to ours. Oh, That's fine. okay. Yeah, and we've been talking to them. Well, I would, yeah, I would, great, and I would direct them over to come and, and sit down so that we can talk with them as well. I mean, that's the whole purpose to this. I would, I would love if any of you would be willing to come and sit down and have a conversation. It's not gotcha, we're not looking to hurt anybody. I would never, ever want anyone to harm any of you, but I do think that this is part of the divide that we have here in the United States right now, where people show up, we invite everyone to sit down and have a conversation, and then those, I would imagine, more on the left, uh, yourself, simply refuse to have a dialogue. I don't, I don't think that's productive. I refuse to have a dialogue. That's the whole reason why we came. Sure. Is, yeah. You want to come grab, grab a talk? Um, grab a chat? I'd prefer not to. Oh. I mean, so how, right I'm now. talking now. You're talking right now. Right. That is what we're doing. Well, we invited you over. So I came over here and you just said I forced the interview. No, no, no. I never okay. Said that. I mean, okay. didn't say that. I mean, that's, that's a problem with the dialogue I was telling Hillary over there. Um, we felt like the people who were coming okay. over here trying to get us to go over there yeah. were using certain tactics like cutting people off before they finish their sentences, not using active listening. I mean, trying to maybe put words in other people's mouths, fading. I okay. feel like that's unnecessary. I understand. I like over here, I mean, it's easier because there's a large crowd over there that we could um, control the narrative more. Like, not control the narrative not, more. Not push it in the wrong way. No fake news or anything. But I, if, when you're surrounded by a whole crowd of people, it's easy for people to misconstrue what you say, put talking points in your mouth. I don't want to do that. Do you, do you feel like I've done that? That I put talking points? No, not points you in? specifically. But you know, we've been talking to people all day, and sure. sometimes people jump in with things they think we'll say because they don't understand our point of view. But I'm only I'm only inviting you to speak with me. I don't think I've done that. Well, I still decline. But I'm not saying that that's, you did. That's fine. Yeah. Immigrants are welcome here. Change my mind. All right. Well, would you be welcome for me to change your mind? I'm, I'm good. good. But I'm good. Just holding my sign. Okay, but I don't understand the whole purpose to it. You know, the segment that we've started is to change my mind, is to invite dialogue. You're kind of missing the whole point to it. If you're saying change my mind, and I'm saying, well, let me try to change your mind, and you say I don't want to talk, you probably shouldn't be holding that sign. I mean, she's been talking to other people during the day, but I think this is an intimidating situation for some people. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I think that some people, we, have, we hold our beliefs. Sure. But a lot of people are uncomfortable in a crowd situation, and I don't think they have to be. I am very uncomfortable in a crowded situation, by the way. We didn't advertise. We didn't advertise this. This happened because we showed up and just had a sign. So this is well, a, I mean, wasn't something like a live speaking event. It was put event. on Twitter and stuff. Was it put on Twitter? Yeah, he when? tweeted that he was going to do this, and then he said he was coming to UTD. Who, who's he? Crowder. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. So and sorry you. what are, what, sorry are you, you. what are your views on Crowder? Yeah, I know. I've heard a couple sorry. of rumblings too that Crowder here is a racist. I didn't I, say that. Did you? Did you say that? 
Stephen Crowder is a, that you believe I'm a racist? I said I wouldn't engage with racists, and okay. I don't feel comfortable engaging with you right now. Is so that because you think I'm a racist? Uh, it's because you're crowding me, and you've brought a crowd of people and multiple cameras, so I really don't appreciate how you're crowding me like this. Well, I'm not crowding you right now. I'm giving I you some space. I feel pretty crowded right now. Well, so. we're, we're in a public space, and you have a sign that says, I mean, change my mind. You are crowder. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did. No, I appreciate it. Hey, come on. This bump. There you go. I yeah. appreciate it. Come on. You're in good spirits. I appreciate you being so so friendly, but I, I do think to lob the accusation of racism, that's a pretty pretty hefty accusation. I don't feel comfortable right now, and I would really appreciate if you want to talk to some of my other friends. I prefer engaging in smaller crowds, and I don't appreciate how everyone's here staring at me and how you brought these people to me. So well, I'd really appreciate you, it. You did protest my event and used our segment, Changed My Mind. I mean, it's, it's not like it's all that surprising that I'm asking you about your opinions. You're asking someone to change your mind and you said that you wouldn't engage with racists and you wouldn't engage with me. I, I think that's fair, no? I don't think you're hearing me. I am hearing you. I've asked you to leave me alone and you're not doing that, so I don't think you're hearing me. I, you, don't, you don't have to speak. I'm just simply asking, you said you won't engage with me, you won't engage with racists, so you haven't told anyone or insinuated that I'm a racist and you don't believe that I'm a racist. I'm not answering that. Okay, well, let me tell you, I'm not a racist. And I don't think that our opinion here of build the wall, change my mind, is racist at all. Um, I do think to say that you're not going to engage with racists implies that everyone who disagrees with you is a racist. And I, I think that's a tactic to shut down dialogue, before, which is what you're doing right now. I think more conversation is better, but that's okay. I won't, I won't bother if you don't want to talk. I don't think the sign is very well advised if you don't want to talk with people. Can I speak? Yes. So, I think that if they don't want to speak, that's fine, but I don't think it's something that you should try and hang over their head if they've told you already that it's something that makes them uncomfortable. I don't think that you should try and prop them up as this figurehead for all of us right now, which is what you were trying to do. I think it's a little underhanded, mm -hmm. but I'm more than happy to speak to you because kind I feel of like, like... calling someone a racist might be underhanded. Well, yeah, but that's not the point I'm trying to make right now. So. That's the point I was making. Okay, I don't know what they said to you. I don't know what was said before I got here. I just got here five minutes ago. So okay. I'm not going to speak on that, but I'm going to speak to the fact that you are coming onto our campus. You're asking us to engage with you with what is a very hot button issue. You know that it's going to provoke an emotional response from all of us. You know that this is a campus full of international students, Let's full of multi- the pie. Can you hold it for a second? Yeah, real <laughs> Hey, I, no, I, I agree with you. I, I don't okay. think, yeah, I'm not, I don't want people to shout out. No, no, and so you come onto our campus, you know that this is a very international campus. We're all very multicultural. We all are very inclusive. So I think for you to come into our campus with such an inflammatory question that's based on a policy made by somebody who is called Mexicans rapists, that a policy coming from racist beliefs, yeah. I think that it's pretty... I think it's pretty cruel to come onto our campus knowing our background and to demand our free labor, our emotional labor, to try and engage with you. May and that, yes, you. May, may I speak? Well, let me finish. I'm almost done. Okay. And I think it's pretty cruel to try and exploit us for our emotional labor because you know that it's going to get an issue from us or a response from us. You know that a huge crowd like this is going to form. And I just think that it's really shady of you to come onto our campus for okay, that. Okay, but you've already, you're repeating yourself now, so can well, I speak? Go or for do, it. Or do you want to, is there something else that you would need to say? That That's I don't pretty much it. Okay. So, everything you've just said is inaccurate. Why is it inaccurate? Well, first off, it's not a policy that Donald Trump created. He didn't okay. call all Mexicans rapists. And, by the way, we have a permit to be here. And we're not exploiting anyone's labor. People are free to sit down, whether they choose to discuss the topic or not. By the way, there's nothing offensive about the idea of building the wall. Half of America supports the idea. Everything that you just said is but, factually, verifiably inaccurate. And that's okay that I understand you have an emotional reaction, and I'm not trying to upset you. But I do think that the truth here matters as well. And if people are going to yeah. paint all of their opposition as racist, as these people have done here, I think that does a great disservice to dialogue here in the United States. We're trying to engage in dialogue. But, 
Um, uh, go ahead. Uh, I'd like to jump in. Um, so I've been here with the like this the little group of protesters all day, and like for one, there was only one person who said that you were racist. Okay. And so I don't. I think it's a mischaracterization because I want to have you, a debate here. Okay. Because can you I, tell me who it was? Um, I'm not calling out people. Okay. You know, people get, get kind of like calling someone people. out as a racist. We well, don't I mean, want to do I that. didn't do that. I don't know. I know. For me. Because, um, I mean, there's people online who will demonize them. And I'm not <laughs> trying to get them in trouble. You know? But people online. I understand. And by the way, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the response online because of how respectful and how civil you've been, regardless of where we disagree. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. And the whole, I think that if you would have, instead of sitting here, and I know um, you didn't, but mingling with people <laughs> who've accused me of racism, or as you say, trying to exploit free emotional labor, whatever that means, I think you would have found- It's really important I what think that you would have found that, hold on a second, we're speaking here, don't interrupt the lady. I'm sorry I think to you would have found that it was- completely discredited my point. You're mansplaining here, sir. No. I think you would have found- You don't even know what that means. I are think you use that term against me? Can you let me speak with her. You spoke for a much longer period of time than her. I'm answering May her. May I speak to defend myself? Can I, can I address um, what she just I said? Think it's can better not. Nicer? Okay, okay go ahead. I'm on your side. Go ahead. Okay. Can I just finish? I think that if you would have sit down mm -hmm. and had a conversation, you would have found that it's very similar to what we're doing right now. Right. It really, it's designed to, to evoke what's happening right now. It's not designed to insult anybody. I want people like you on this campus. I disagree with your points of view. Yeah. But I appreciate that you're respectful. And I appreciate that you're willing to talk. I hope mm -hmm. you understand that's the point to this. And I hope you don't feel like I've been an no. aggressor toward you no, at any no, point. No. Okay. Because I think I was talking to my friends because I have a lot of friends who went over there. I think it's good that we're cre like creating a dialogue. And it's not inflammatory. There's not any punching or fighting or anything crazy like that. Sure. But I think um, the only reason why I've stayed over here mostly is that because we, ha we have a mo like, okay, we have a big immigrant population here is that there are a lot of people who deal day to day with, um, like, say, like racism. I'm, a, I'm an immigrant. Yeah, but well, I'm saying, you know, then you might understand, and especially because we have a lot of first gen immigrants who are dealing with their visa and the stress of like of immigration every day. That I, I stayed over here because there's people we need to have. Um, I think it shows that even with the crowd, and even there are a lot of people who descended to you in the crowd, <laughs> that um, having a descent over here showed that they weren't alone because i know it could be scary for some people sure i i, I understand mm -hmm. and believe me I, one thing i used to tell the story when i used to do stand-up comedy mm -hmm. i used to get so violently ill because i i really do have a fear of public speaking mm -hmm. and i think a lot of people do i think even more so when there's a culture of fear as you see on college campus where people are afraid of speaking out because they're admonished as a racist right as you didn't but yeah, you've heard, yeah, some, no, pe you've heard some people no, yeah, say it. Happens, and that's the whole reason before. for this, is there are a lot of students there who've actually been othered who maybe agree with the point or maybe don't, but yeah. they want to see people have a dialogue. Right. Um, so I do, I have no problem with you being here protesting. The only issue I have is with when yeah. pe people uh, lob accusations and uh, throw th throw accusations from afar. Yeah. But can, can we can we have a handshake yeah, or course. handshake or, or bro bro hug? You do oh. bro <laughs> gender neutral bro hug as it's called. No, I appreciate it, and yeah. you're welcome to come and grab a seat. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate. It. But you, if you want to come over and grab a seat, you're more than welcome. I just want to explain what emotional labor is because. What well, you're then you're more than welcome to do it over there where we're sitting. We have yeah. a permit. We have a permit there, so. And wanting to take this opportunity to show these people just what Change My Mind was all about, we decided to sit down with Nicholas and see if we could smooth things over. This good? That's fine. What was okay. your name, sir? Nicholas. Nicholas. Now, do you see how sitting down here outside of the rain, this breeds more friendly, productive conversation? I don't want to shout out there. Okay. okay. I don't think that, that was an issue that was happening over there, but I think it's nice to be out of the rain. Well, good. Would you like a granola bar? I'm good, thank you. Okay, all right. So, Nicholas, you said you would like, I know we're kind of off the path of the build the wall changed my mind, but you were, seemed pretty upset. Um, I would say that you were shouting, but I guess you don't see it that way. And that's okay, by the way. Okay. I don't begrudge you. What is it that you wanted to clarify for me? Well, I think that when you were speaking to the other protester, you tried to, well, you didn't try, you outwardly said, and dismissed my notion that you're exploiting UTD students' emotional labor. And I wanted to explain to you what that was so that you might have a better idea of what, at least in my view... I I'm aware of what it is. I disagree with your statement. Why do you disagree with my statement? I'm not abusing anyone's emotional labor here because I'm not forcing anyone to sit down. No one is required to. Okay, People but... are here of their own volition. And by the way, everyone has had a productive conversation. Nicholas, except for you, you're the only one to have yelled today. I. If I yelled, I'm sorry, but... Th that's okay. I appreciate it. Okay. I didn't intend on yelling, but I felt like I took offense to 
my notion being outright dismissed, and I just think I, I didn't that, dismiss it. I just disagree with it. Okay. And I will rebut and say that when you come onto a college campus, especially one where we've explained multiple times the college campus that UTD is, with a statement like, build the wall, change my mind, I think you know that you're going to get a lot of emotional response from that. And even if it's from people's free will, then it's still something that you're coming onto the campus to kind of break up the flow of everyday life to try and get a response for it. And you're going to take that, monetize it, and try and show yourself in the best light because of it. And I don't think that it's very right. And you can do that all you want. I'm not saying that you can't do that, but it does raise a bit of a red flag with me concerning the UTD administration for letting this happen. And I think that if you don't like this, we should all go to the UTD administration and tell them what we think of it, because I think that it's a little ridiculous to have somebody who wants to inflame us. But, but we love it. My, here, yeah. Do you really love it? Yeah. Hey guys, I I, I appreciate I, appre I hey guys guys hold on I appreciate it, but I don't really want to go to the power of the mob. I'd like Nicholas and I to have a conversation. If that's what you want, to, if you want to govern this whole thing by a poll, I don't think you're going to like how it turns out, and so I don't want to do that. I think uh, okay. it's important to let your arguments. I think it's important to let your statements rest in the laurels of of, of okay. the substantiation of your arguments here. A um, couple of things. First off, we, we do have a permit, obviously, and if you that. don't like it, that's fine. It's, it's very typical of people who disagree with yeah. us to try and simply shut us down rather than engage in dialogue. And I'm not trying to shut you down, I'm trying What to would you call going to the administration making sure that we can't do it again? I'm saying tell them what we think of it. I'm not saying okay. make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay. But I think that... And what do you think of it? Think of what? Well, what would you tell them? What do you think of this? Why would you walk I into... You would walk into their office and say, Steven Crowder and Change My Mind is... I think it's disrespectful to people who are immigrants, who have close immigrants who are f or close friends who are immigrants, family who have immigrated. I think that, especially Latinx immigrants, if mm -hmm. we're trying to have a discussion about a very sensitive issue for those people, outright saying build the wall, change my mind as a subhead is going to inflame them. It's going to call to mind the strong emotions of what it means for those people to come across the border here. N Nicholas, let me, let me ask you something. Yes. Do you ever notice, you, you're very concerned about this inflaming people. Yes. Do you ever notice that you're primarily the one who's inflamed? I think that I'm one of the few people who's speaking for the inflamed. I think, as you pointed out earlier, most of the people here are on your side. No, everyone who or, sat down disagrees. Every single person. Okay, but there are people who are saying that they love it, that it's like a sport, that... A lot of people love it who don't even agree with me. They just like that we're having a conversation. Okay. Let me ask you this. Okay. Do you discuss immigration issues here on a college campus? We do. You do? Would yes. you say you even do it in class? Yes. Okay. So what is the issue with discussing it from a different point of view? I think when the point of view comes from a point of exclusion, from a point that paints it against people who are most likely to be affected by a policy like building the wall, I think that it needs to be done in a dude, more man, sensitive way. There's a line over here, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, I, and that's my issue with it, is we're coming at it from... It's, it sounds to me like your issue is someone discussing the issue uh, if they disagree with you. No, it's not. Okay. But I think that if it's coming, if the disagreement is coming from a place of prejudice, I think that that's an issue. And I believe I that, that we. Sh I believe that we should build the wall. We should secure our borders and uh, deport illegal immigrants and make sure that we don't have any more illegal immigrants. But those are all the things country. that are already happening. There's already a. But the point is, is that border. well, that's all we're talking about. Is that offensive at all? Is that marginalizing at all? I think that when you're talking about divesting money from things like public education, like healthcare, like shutting down the entire government because of the wall and disenfranchising government workers who can't afford to live anymore. I think that when you're centering the topic of immigration around that issue, it becomes very polarizing and very so, emotional. Let me ask you this. Yes. What would be the acceptable way for someone who disagrees with you on immigration to express it? I think that they could easily talk about the fact that 
immigration numbers are already decreasing. I think that there's well, that's, already... That's someone who would agree with you. I'm asking, if but, someone disagrees with you and believes in strong national border security, someone believes in cracking down on I, work visas, someone who disagrees with you, what would be the acceptable way but, for them to express it, according to you, Nicholas? Well, I think that we're at a point where we disagree on the state of border security because I think it's already very strong. There's already a border fence. There's already strong funding for the border patrol, for ICE. And I don't necessarily think those are good things, but I think that that's the facts of it. So I would say that I don't disagree that there isn't strong border security. I'm no, saying not, that's not disagreeing. I I am disagreeing by saying there isn't. Yeah. And so you keep I keep asking you what is the acceptable way for someone who disagrees with you, and you keep going through arguments that agree that that agree with your position. Well, I my point is someone yeah. like myself who says security at the border is bad. We have seven, eight hundred miles of completely unprotected border. Okay. Illegal immigration is a serious problem. Okay. 116 billion dollars footed to the American taxpayer every year. Okay. What to you would be the acceptable way for someone who disagrees with you to express himself or herself or Z self? I think that you could explain that. You could. Those are acceptable ways to disagree with that. You are respect. Right because you're respectfully stating facts, you are going about things without trying to paint it about race, like what the current president has done on the campaign but trail. I, but I haven't. I know you haven't, and I'm not saying that it's you who's doing that. I'm saying that it's supporting a policy created out of that, created from somebody who has those beliefs. And I think that when people want to disagree about the state of border security and they want to say that it's weak, I think that as long as they're not going back to saying that they don't want people of a certain race to come into the United States, sure. I think and, when and it gets no one, and I don't, it has nothing to do with race at all. It has to do with national border security. So I don't, I haven't said that. Would we agree? Yeah. Okay, good. good. I think that, I think that it's a little implicit, but. Oh, I, no, no, hold on. It's not. I, I would like to. Okay. Just one thing, I think. See how the energy is coming down here. I think we're having a pretty good conversation. Okay. I, I would think that this is a little more productive than when we started off. Would you agree? I would agree, but I also I, came I, into the fray when you were shoving a camera in my friend's face, who was very clearly uncomfortable. Right. Well, there's a person who called me a racist, and so the whole purpose to this, to sitting down, okay, to having this conversation, is so that we can talk the way we just did. Okay. Now, what you just described, right? What you, I just said, hey, what would be the acceptable way to express an opinion? with which you would disagree, okay. you just described exactly what we've done here all day. Okay. So it seems like your mind has changed. Uh, my mind on what has changed? Your mind at least on the idea that we can be here and do what we do without it being designed to be inflammatory or as you said, uh, was it uh, abusing students' emotional labor, exploiting? Yes. I, this is, I don't, I don't think this constitutes. I will disagree with that still, but I think that I've said all I need to say on the matter today. Okay, but will we agree that this is probably a little bit better than you thought it was going to be? That it's, it hasn't been bickering and sound bites? I haven't, I haven't inserted any words into your mouth? Hasn't been hateful? Would, would we agree on that? I agree that I've presented myself in the way that I see most fit. Okay. And that's all I can say. You see that? That's what this whole segment is about. Rationalizing one's own position can soothe even the most savage beast. Uh, not everyone. I do not think that there should be a, a border in that sense. You don't? I do not. Okay. So, you don't believe in countries? I, like I said, I believe in the line, if you were to draw a line between America and Mexico, that's fine, that's on a map. But I'm saying if there's nothing but just a field of grass there, I think that's fine. Ah, well, you can't win them all. Stay tuned tomorrow for the full installment of Build the Wall, Change My Mind, Volume 2. <laughs>